what would you do if you knew the end of the world was coming? Don't worry, we're all safe now. But you can see how some friends would prepare for Armageddon. Mike Randall takes us behind the curtain of a new production in the theater district. How would you spend your last few minutes before the end of the world? I'll be with you guys. Yes. No, That's you one of the themes explored in no. Brace for Impact, a new play by actor and first-time playwright Vincent DiStefano. I think the message overall is to, you know, kind of maybe not take life for granted. Here's a quick synopsis of the play. Five old friends gather in a North Buffalo apartment as an asteroid hurdles towards Earth. At this point in the play, the asteroid's only an hour and a half away and they're playing a game. Uh, ten, ten seconds. Your favorite chip dip. Salsa! Vincent came up with the idea for the play during COVID. And then around the pandemic time, I, you know, we had a lot of time in our hands, so I was like, oh, I got to come up with something creative. That something about the pandemic and the end of the world kind of just popped in my head. Produced by Bellissima Productions, Brace for Impact is on stage at the Marie Midday Theater at Canisius College for seven performances. I thought, what better place to do it than where I grew up in Buffalo and uh, have it set in Buffalo. I call it like a dark comedy, actually. There's a lot of humor in there. I mean, because you need to have some, you know, comedy in there or it's just going to be doom and gloom. Directed by Mike Dobbin with all local talent, including Taylor Lee Hall, Colleen Pine, Sean Patrick Ryan, Andrew Brown, and the playwright himself, Vincent DiStefano. Uh, oh, uh, Sabres hockey player, number 81 in the 90s, Miroslav Oksatan. Yes, nice. Yeah. Okay. Will the 90-minute nail-biter, presented without intermission, end with asteroid Armageddon or a near miss? Does everybody die at the end? or? Well, I, I, I cannot say, I cannot confirm or, or deny if there are any deaths in the show. Uh, you just have to watch and find out. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. Mike Randall, 7 News, Buffalo.